Hey guys, in this episode we're talking about Action Mailbox and how to set it up in your Rails application. Now, first things first, in production you're gonna set up a real configuration, for example, Mailgun or Postmark or SendGrid, and you will have them receive your real emails and make a post request to your Rails app where Rails will convert that uh, HTTP request into a mail object and send it through Action Mailbox for processing. But in development and testing, you're not going to use a real setup, so we're not going to touch on that here, but it's really pretty straightforward, just a configuration line and a uh, ingress password. But we need to install Action Mailbox, so we can go into our terminal, run Rails Action Mailbox install, and we'll run Rails DB Migrate after that. I've already installed this, so you'll see that um, it's not installing any migrations for us but we are now ready to go. So we can go into our application mailbox and we can start defining routes. Now these routes match against the uh, email addresses that the email came um, in as, and it will look through all of the two fields. So if you reply to a conversation in our customer support app, it will look for the email addresses that it was being sent to, which is going to be one of ours. So for us, we want to have an email like conversation12345 at example.com, and we want to route that to the replies mailbox, and we want to have anything sent to support at example.com will go to the conversation mailbox, um, and maybe I'll call this reply mailbox, and that is going to be our main two routes. So those emails, when we send them out, will have a conversation ID in the reply to field and our support um, for brand new conversations that customers might want to send us will be for that. 